around it. A volatile situation, to say the least. WAP cameras and Bill Sherman were there to catch it all. I can shoot the cat out there with a tranquilizer gun. It's not a problem. Two, one or two things would happen. He's either going to fall asleep three minutes later and fall down, and we're going to catch him, or he's going to fall Or the cat may fall asleep up there, atop the Transformers. Hilton Cole of Animal Control is the man in charge of today's Operation Scaredy Cat. Now, if they say they can't do that, then we're going to shoot the, the cat out of the car, too. With a tranquilizer gun, of course, but that's a last resort. On the humane side, we don't want to see the animal get fried on the transformer. So those wires are the power wires. The, the single wire that's below that on the insulators is the ground wire. So if he makes contact with the ground, uh, that ground, yeah, that's where his problem is. But he uh, never, so just bear with us. Thank we, you. We may be hanging around. Appreciate it. Well, actually, the cat is the one doing all the hanging around. In fact, the cat's been hanging around for several days. And the dog yesterday morning or the day before yesterday uh, ran, it, ran it right up this uh, pole here. And I don't believe the cat knows how to come back down the pole, so it's staying up there. So now is the moment of truth. Onlookers looking on, hoping everything works out. Energy has been called in if they need to shut down the power. And animal control, they are on hand in case the cat bites or lurches out. In fact, Hilton even has a pair of gloves on. Come on, kitty. Good kitty. Good kitty. Good kitty. Finally, the power is shut off. And then some last-minute instructions from Hilton to the lineman from Energy, whose job now entails saving a stressed and scared kitty cat. A couple of misses and anxious moments, but eventually the cat is caught. With videographer Darren DeQuano, Bill Sherman, WAFB 9 News. They named her Sparky. <laughs> Watch WAFB 9 News at 10 o'clock.